All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. We've got another day. We're out here using the John Deere 1025R. Um, we're clearing this, um, all this wood lot out here, about seven to ten acres for a potential pasture where we can put some livestock. Um, you know, sometimes you life gets to you, right? And some of you guys may know how hard it is to film certain videos, but um, you know, it, it kind of happens where you only get like one hour a day, you know, after work or whatever the case may be. And it's hard to get all your equipment out or you might not even get, get anything done, right? So that's why we haven't been showing you too much. Uh, I've been working on it here and there whenever I had time. But we're going to get you some video today. Try to get you as much as I can. Um, we're not going to be out here too long. We only got about two hours. But I definitely wanted to get you guys involved and let you see what this John Deere 1025R is capable of. Um, we're going to be hauling out logs. We're going to be using the steel chainsaw, dropping some trees. And hopefully we get a couple trees dropped today. And we'll haul them out. Uh, we might get a saw log. I don't know yet. It just depends on the size of the tree. So, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get right into this video. So, I wanted to show you guys what we currently got. These are all our firewood sticks we got out right now. They're not big enough, obviously, for saw logs. But they are plenty big enough for firewood. So, we'll be cutting those up into rounds later taken out quite a few trees some really nice ones but we still got a long way to go we got a brush pile right there where we're gonna end up burning it all have a big old bonfire we've started going around the side there on the back and that's actually in the middle so we're gonna clear on the bottom side we're gonna try to work on a couple trees right up here today see if we can't get maybe that big one right there out and we'll see what we got all right, guys, we're going to use the steel MS-271. We're going to take this tree down right here. Make sure it's nice and warm before you get started. Let's roll.
All right, guys, so this is going to be a saw log right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, mark it out for what we got. Now, remember the John Deere 1025R, I think somewhere around 900 and some pounds is what the front loader can do. Um, I've been using it for quite some time, so I kind of know how much I'm going to be able to do on this type of log. Uh, let me look here real quick. We're looking at a... A 22 to 23 inch in diameter log so we're only going to be able to go about probably eight feet six inches for a saw log for the first one then we might be able to go nine and then we'll see if we can get a 10 out of there so let's mark it up and then we'll cut it all the saw logs out and i think we'll wrap the video up with just just one tree today All right, guys, so that's a wrap. We got it all taken care of. Got that one tree down. Like I said, we only had a couple hours to get this stuff done. Um, you can see it's amazing what you can do with the John Deere 1025R, the little thing. 
Um, it might be small, but boy, it, it packs a big punch. So it can move these logs around. I mean, you can see how many we got stacked up currently. Um, so we got quite a few cherry in the back, some here, and they all range between, I say, I think the smallest one is about 16 inches in diameter all the way up to 23 inches in diameter. So it'll do it. You guys just got to put it to the test. So another good thing I love about the John Deere 1025R, especially with the pallet forks, is you can get in to really some tight spaces um, and maneuver that thing around. If you had a little bit larger tractor, you might not be able to. So I'm sure you guys can check that out throughout the video. But hey, I appreciate each one of you coming back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the, the video today and learned something and, and got to have some fun with me as well. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.